Just do pickums, please. She's filling time. Kill her. For all the YouTube frogs that don't know why I am here, I changed setups. We are currently streaming out of the G2 headquarters in Berlin because they're so nice and so supportive. Thank you, G2. So today we're going to be doing these Swiss stage pickums. We did one last year. I would say it was okay, like not bad of a track record, definitely better than MSI 2024 with the top esports over G2 incident. But this time around, it's going to be 16 teams out of the total pool with four groups, each group with four teams, and only eight teams will advance into the quarterfinals. And honestly, I have some opinions because I don't think every Eastern team is gonna make it this time around. If you guys want the easy way out, Y'all can just do four Chinese teams and four Korean teams because four plus four is eight. But I think the West actually has a chance. Let me explain. Let me explain. I've been hearing very good things about Team Liquid. And I genuinely think because lane swapping hasn't died yet, Team Liquid has a very legitimate shot at making top eight. Let's just get... To the point, I think top two teams from both LPL and LCK are definitely going to make the next stage. That being HLE and Gen.G for sure, and BLG is also an easy one. For people that are unfamiliar with the LCK and the LPL, HLE is the first seed, Gen.G is the second seed from the LCK, and BLG is the first seed from the LPL. And now is where the water gets kind of muddy. It gets very, very muddy. So the problem is that, yeah, Genji are chokers, but they don't choke until semifinals. And that's been the case for the past two years. So because this Pickums is only for quarterfinals, we have to include Genji. However, a team that is known to be chokers that don't even make a uh, top eight from China in particular is Top Esports. And they are the second seed from the LPL. Top Esports consists of 369, Tien, Cream, Jackie Love, and Mako. For people that are not familiar with the LPL, I, I once believed in Top Esports during MSI 2024. And they may or may not have been dicked by a certain organization called Yi2. So... Is it worth a shot to give Top Esports another chance at doing well at an international event when we know Top Esports are the team that can get 0 3 by G2? Top Esports gets revenge and knocks G2 out of sus- I- I'ma be real guys, I feel like if I don't put G2 advancing into the top 8, I'm gonna get kicked out of this place in like the next two days. We cannot let G2 know, we cannot let- them know that I'm going to doubt G2, okay? Everyone shut the fuck up. Everyone shut the fuck up. Okay, shh. I'm gonna be homeless. There's gonna be no streams if I don't put G2 in the top eight. Do we think top esports deserves a second chance and my belief of them to make it into Swiss stage? The remaining two LPL teams, by the way, is LNG and WBG. For people that didn't watch Worlds 2023, Top Esports didn't make Worlds. Rookie was the previous mid laner and their top laner was Fraudward and they didn't even make Worlds. So Top Esports was completely out of the equation and they had JDG instead. LNG, WBG, JDG and BLG all made quarterfinals. It was the LPL versus the LCK. So <laughs> you can't really compare it to last year because LNG and WBG, especially WBG, made it to finals for Worlds. So I had WBG literally eliminated in Swiss and they somehow frauded their way to finals. I don't believe them anymore. I am not a fan of WBG and I believe that you can't get lucky this many times. So we're gonna go through the Eastern teams First of all, I know we started the whole conversation off with Team Liquid, but that's kind of like my underdogs. Loki, do Team Liquid even count as underdogs? They have four Koreans. Ah, <sighs> okay guys, who do you actually think is better? LNG or Top Esports? Because people that didn't watch the LPL Summer Playoffs, 
Top esports got eliminated very uh very early on. Who were they eliminated by? Was it actually just by LNG? LNG made it to finals. They got eliminated by oh true 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 true. They got yeah 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 yeah. They got eliminated by WBG. Yeah 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 yeah. LNG made it further in summer playoffs than top esports. Top esports only made it to the Swiss Worlds is because they had enough points from the previous split. And they were automatically qualified when LNG lost the finals against BLG. So we actually haven't seen LNG versus Top Esports. Who do you guys favor? You guys favor LNG? LNG is actually really strong, IMO. They have the thing where they, if they verse T1, I don't know what the f LNG becomes. I don't know what they become. They become. T1 Suns. You guys don't believe in LNG at all? I'm not even gonna include WBG. I'm sorry, Xiaohu. You're very cute dancing with your cat on TikTok. But this isn't the TikTok World's Championship, okay? This is the League of Legends Esports Championship. You, If you were in a different competition, I think you would win with your cat. But not this time around, okay? No cats allowed. I'm gonna put Top Esports in. Top Esports should safely make it into Top 8 IMO. They probably won't make semifinals. Because I actually think LNG has a better chance of making semifinals compared to top esports. LNG, top esports, BLG. Mm. Am I giving too much credit to the Chinese teams? I'm not adding WBG. No. No, no, no. I thought WBG and LNG, their mid laners, had one of the worst starts of the year ever. Like, they were literally aliens infiltrating the LPL. Mechanics were out the, out the window. Low key, they both redeemed themselves as the year went on, but holy fucking shit, it was a new low, you know what I mean? It was actually a new low. I've never seen champion, sh champion mid laners play so bad in one split. If I were to pick two teams from the West, it would be G2 and Team Liquid. I know that's a very lukewarm take, and that Team Liquid, technically they're the second seed from the LCS, but... <laughs> they lost against minions why do you have so much hope for na well it's not that i'm the only one that has hope for na it's that team liquid has proven themselves in two international events where they're actually capable of going 50 50 against t1 when given the right resources like this is not being completely delusional i think team liquid if umpty like that one game at ewc i don't know if ewc even can like counts into the conversation but on paper team liquid should have won against t1 but umpty just had like a brain aneurysm and he threw the whole game away it was just one mistake and the whole game was fucked if umpty never made that mistake it could have been a reality that Team Liquid was going to win against T1, and T1 was reigning world champions, and they were second from the LCK uh, going to MSI. But this was right after MSI, I think. Proven themselves they they can't win against minions. Yeah, Eon really like Yon really needs to get on his farming boots, like put on his farming boots and execute those minions, because we cannot have minions ending a game for a second time this year. Like that is just cr that is not allowed. Is this the last time? uh na is at worlds next year the regions merge no yeah so people that are out of the loop lcs lla and cb lol all their regions are killed off by riot and they're all going to merge into the americas conference and i believe lcs currently has eight teams they're getting rid of two orgs i'm not too sure what's going on from the cb lol and the lla league i think cb lol is also killing off two orgs but they're gonna pretty much just merge everyone together which Next topic, how are they going to scrim? How are they actually going to compete against each other? Because for people that don't know, if you fly from, let's say, Brazil to America, it's a 10 hour flight. It is very far away. So it's actually not the best circumstance to have these teams verse each other. So it's North America versus South America. So LLA and Brazil are going to verse each other and then we're going to have six orgs play in North America or what's, what's going on? Does anyone know? context better than me i'm a bit confused north scrims versus conference wait north scrims versus conference plus l nacl and latin america wait l 
LRN. What is an LRN? I'm gonna flashbang by the fucking cars outside on the scritch on the streets. Mexican League. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Top esports, LNG over G2, DK, and T1. Ain't no way. Bro, I haven't even gotten to T1, bro. Shut the fuck up. I won't be mean. I won't be mean. I won't swear. I won't be mean. I won't be mean. I won't be mean. Bro, shut up. I haven't gotten to them yet, okay? I'm just going by order, okay? Stop being so impatient, you, you goose. I'm guessing top esports will not advance. Um... Let's do process of elimination. So, I think Team Liquid, G2, T1. Oh, I can't vote more. I can't vote more. I can only select eight teams. Never mind. So, I'm just gonna tick G2 off now because if I don't have them in my top eight, I'm literally going to get yeeted out of the office within the next millisecond. So, I have to put G2. Yo, G2, you see this? You see this? I'm putting you guys in top 8, you guys better make top 8. Biggest fan of- because I feel like DK is very coin flippy. The only reason why they're here is I think DK's bottom lane is Supar, Aiming, and Mohan together in the current meta is very very good. Their new baby jungler, Lucid, is also pretty decent, but I think DK- Ugh. Oh man. A lot of people have the same opinion where Showmaker is not playing well. Showmaker is low-key kind of fucking over the team throughout playoffs. PSG looked clean in plans, bro. They lost against Mad Lions. I, I love my bro Maple on PSG and I love the PSG boys, but you, you can't be losing against Mad Lions and think you're gonna make top 8. That's what you get for p not putting T1 in. I'm not getting to T1 yet, bro. I'm not, I haven't gotten to T1. All I'm gonna say, when was the last time T1 didn't make quarterfinals at an international event? I actually don't know. Was it like 2021 or something? 2020? 2021? T1 has always made at least top 4. So that's an easy one. For the T1 frogs that are flaming the fuck out of me for not putting T1 because I haven't gotten to them in chronological order. Shush! Shush. Yeah, T1, the one time they didn't qualify was which year? It was like a century ago. PSG, I'm sorry to my PCS PSG fans. I don't think PSG is going to make top 8. They make good series. They make series very interesting, but I am to the con I'm to the conclusion that if PSG can't even beat Mad Lions coin a best of 3, how are you going to beat the other teams because I genuinely think outside of like out of all the major regions Mad Lions is probably the, the weakest team and they couldn't even beat the weakest team okay now it gets kind of rough so you have DK left you have FlyQuest Team Liquid WBG Fnatic I'm sorry bro I'm sorry Fnatic you're not <laughs> if Fnatic makes top 8, I will eat my shoe. There's no way Fnatic is gonna make top 8. I'm sorry, I love the Fnatic players. I think they're all very big sweethearts, but there's no way anyone outside of G2 from LEC is gonna make top 8. That is just not possible. <laughs> Yo, clip this, ship this. I don't think Fnatic is gonna make top 8. Wasn't LNG terrible in playoffs? Why did you put them over WBG? Ah, someone has been watching playoffs and spreading misinformation online. Well, if LNG were playing so bad in playoffs, how the fuck did they make it to the summer finals against BLG? Hmm? Unless they frauded their way like WBG, I mean, that's just another conversation, isn't it? Wait, why am I saying WBG va- ah! I thought, I don't know why I was so sure that LNG made finals. What's wrong with me? Wait, I was mixing up 2023 and 2024 summer. Oh my god, now my thing is all cooked. Okay, let me just deselect these real quick. So the ones I'm very sure are going to make top 8. Asia Lee, Gen G, BLG, T1, G2. I have to reconsider this. I have to leave G2 there. I have to leave G2. Guys, guys, G2 is going to win worlds. Let's be fucking real. G2 is going to win worlds, okay? I love G2. G2 is going to win world. You guys have amazing facility. I love the bathrooms here. Very clean, very demure, very mindful. 
I don't think DK is gonna make it, bro. I don't think DK is gonna make it. I don't know why. It's just the feeling in my bones. LNG don't look that good. Yeah, LNG have a thing where, for some reason, their support when it comes to international matches just looks really bad. Um, their support is Xiao Hong, right? I was actually a really big fan of Xiao Hong in 2023 during the domestic games because I thought he was very good at Leona, etc. But when he gets to internationals, do we remember what Xiao Hong did against T1 as Blitzcrank? Do we still remember that? Like, am I the only one that's like flashbacking right now? To be fair, the argument for DK is that DK looked relatively weak throughout the entirety of summer without aiming at Mohan's help, but they made it and, sorry, they made it to Worlds and it's 14.18 where LeBlanc and Syndra are incredibly meta. Is that the argument for you guys to say that DK is going to make top 8? Because the world's mid lane meta is Syndra, Oriana, LeBlanc, Yone, Akali. Sometimes you have like Ari. Silas, we haven't seen Silas. Silas is usually only picked as a counter, but I'm assuming it's only going to be a counter into Akali, but who the fuck is going to blind Akali except for Maple and PSG? One hour video, 07 editor. It's okay, the first half isn't going to exist because I thought LNG vs BLG were the summer finals for 2024 when it was actually 2023. Really want to see top esports first gam. DK clears top esports. Uh, I'm actually really worried for top esports because I don't think... Cream is very good in the meta. He's not a mage player. He plays a Kaleone, yeah, that's fine, but his Orianna is very AFK. I haven't seen his Syndra. Top lane meta is like same for 369. Tien is like fine in the current meta. Aurora, I haven't seen three I haven't seen Top Esports Flex Aurora yet. Bottom lane meta is utility. I actually think Top Esports might be in a rough spot to play this current meta because Jackula. When you first think of Dracula, if you think of Kaisa, you think of all these carry AD carries, but then it's Jin, it's Ezreal, it's Ash that is popular in priority right now. Sometimes you get like a Ziggs. I guess top esports can play Ziggs. LNG, on the other hand, I think LNG were one of the first people to start like putting all their coins, all their eggs into the Ziggs AD carry basket in the LPL for the like previous two years so they're very comfortable with the current meta i think gala is more flexible with his play style scout is you know scout is scout he's very flexible with the way he plays i'm kind of worried for kind of kind of worried for zika anyone else worried for zika is just me i feel like zika has had a very quiet year so far he was playing out of his mind last year where they did make it to verse t1 eventually at worlds but I think Tsuka has not been doing that great so far. WBG on the other hand, I mean, we're all very familiar with WBG. I think Light's playing out of his mind. I think the best player on WBG is Light and Tarzan. Do I believe in LNG? I already, I said to my friend, don't believe in top esports WBG or DK. Okay, I'm gonna put LNG and I'm gonna put Team Liquid. And then I'm gonna get all these comments in my fucking comment section saying that I picked Team Liquid over top esports or DK. I think Team Liquid is gonna make it because Umpty is very good in the current meta, don't you think? When you think of Team Liquid Umpty, you think of all these heavy resource junglers. And I also just think Team Liquid's macro is very good. I'm gonna be real, chat. I'm not 100% familiar with Fly. I haven't watched all of their games. I'm just a big believer in Team Liquid. Okay, here's my point of view. I think Team Liquid can make top eight, but that is it. I think all top, all Team Liquid can make his top 8. Same with G2. I don't know if they're gonna make top 4. Top 8 is like a stretch. Team Liquid is like KC Macro and the LEC. They had Macro? T KC had Macro? Wait, is that the joke? Ah, you're saying Team Liquid have no Macro. No, that's a lie. Team Liquid actually has good Macro. And they have a good understanding of how to play lane swaps. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but lane swaps have evolved from the initial version till now. So the initial version from a, uh, from a, 
a split -a go was you would have three people top lane, no one catching the bolt wave, you would have your AD carry support top laner all sharing experience, getting tower plates, but now it is either your AD carry with the support or AD carry with the top laner getting top wave and top experience while the support goes mid lane, gets level 2, and the support continues to roam down and then catches bolt wave and that saves the top laner from like it, it allows the top laner to tp to the first tower and catch all the built up wave while not under the threat of any dive because the support is there i'm gonna set up uh I don't want to waste too much time justifying myself. I'm not a fucking lawyer, right? I just want to see Team Liquid and G2 do well. And I have my reasons not picking WBG and Top Esports. I don't want to be an LCK frog and pick all the LCK teams. And I don't want to be an LPL frog by picking all the LPL teams. Because that shit's so fucking lame. I will... Pick... I will pick... DK. I'm leaving out... Wait! That means I pick four LCK teams. No, no, no. I don't think all four LCK teams are going to make it, bro. Oh, for all the people that aren't familiar with Cream, he was known to be an Akali one trick. And he's also very good at Yone. But then your counter argument is that if these two champions are banned, what the fuck does he play? He doesn't play a very good Orianna. I've never seen him play Syndra. And his Tristana was very good. But that champion's been nerfed and the priority is very low now. So if you ban Akali, is it really his meta now? And also, he's just budget Zekka at this point. He's just Chinese Zekka. But without the championships and the world title. I don't- I don't think it's- I don't believe in top esports. I don't believe in top esports. Then pick a wildcard region. Oh my god, I hate it when can I- when I can only choose one team. I'm putting top esports. I don't care. Send them to the deep end. Top Esports, they're gonna make it. I'm putting Top Esports in. I do not believe that four LCK teams are gonna make I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Top Esports! Top Wa! Top Wa! Okay. I just realized this is step two in the pickums. <sighs> Choose one team to finish Swiss undefeated 3 and 0. What's, which one's safer, Gen.G or BLG? I picked BLG just because I have them as champions. Wait, do we have to pick who wins? Oh no, I don't know who's gonna win. I think Gen.G is safer, TBH. Okay, that's going to be all for our YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoy the Swiss stage. We're gonna be co-streaming every single day on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash K-I-T-T-W-I outro time. And I'll see you guys there every single day for the next 10 days until quarterfinals. Hopefully I get my pickums right because we fucked up crystal ball so hard. Yippee! Yippee!